Steve afternoon. Afternoon. Um, it's been a, a difficult spell for the club in, in terms of results. We obviously had the big change this week with Wayne Rooney's departure. Mm. What's the move been like with the players since then? Um, as a whole, I only really seen them today to work with because obviously after the Leeds game there was the call down group and then there was the group that didn't play. The group that didn't play embraced it, um, trained very well. Um, the uh, Craig, Craig Gardner had a, a meeting with all the players on, well we now lost the days, Tuesday uh, and introduced me to them and what my role would be and the rest of the staff. Uh, and then I had a meeting with all the players where I addressed them for the first time today myself. Well, obviously with the rest of the staff. Uh, and then we've had them for the first session today. So judging by only by what I've seen, yeah, it's been very good, very good. There's been some continuation. I know Ashley, Ashley Cole and, and John O'Shea still been working this week. Yes, on yes, correct. Pitch. Is their long-term futures resolved yet? And what kind of role have they played this week? Well, firstly, they've supported me. They've been very supportive. Um, in terms of the future, that is, I don't know that's, I don't even know what my own is. All I know is I'm here for one game. Um, but all I can speak about is their support to me, and it's been excellent. Obviously, I. I know the players, but I don't know them as well as they know them. They work in with them day in, day out, and so I have to be guided by them or one or two of them. When we, I was just saying in, in the radio there that when we was at the last training ground, I, I, I knew all the players because we was all on one site. Now I don't know so many of the players as I did. That can be a good thing as well because I'm coming in, they see my face around but don't really know me so it was, uh, uh, you know, it works both ways but on the evidence it's been very good. And what kind of conversations have you had? What have, what have they been telling you in terms of what's been going wrong and, and maybe what changes need to be made to, to turn results around? I haven't really engaged with the players on that. Obviously the, the staff have been here um, but you know, I'd prefer to, to treat it as a, a blank canvas. Um, you know, I've got my own ideas on training and, and the way the team need to play. I've, I've seen lots of their games, uh, spoke to the rest of the staff and that. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, I, I, I have, as I say, one game and I've, I've got to do what I think is right for the one game and then we look beyond that. Are you definitely going to get that one game? Have you had communication with the owners? Well, yeah, I, I've, I've with, with Craig Gardner. Um, he's, he's informed me that, you know, I was to head it up for this game. Um, unless a manager comes in from now till then, that could possibly change. But, you know, I've been in football long enough. I know these kind of things and I, I'm not coming in with me head in the clouds. I, I realise what it is and I do the best of my ability and I've said this to the players and I expect them to do it themselves. We're preparing for one game, uh, that's because that's the, the next game and uh, we've got to make sure that all of us are in it together. We're working hard, they'll get it from us, but we need it from them as well. Have you had any communication in terms of how quickly the club would like to appoint somebody new? No, um, all I had was the, the phone call to ask me to step in. Um, and, and I haven't asked anything else. I probably know as much from you guys as, as everybody else. You know, I, I read the papers and that, and I'm told so and so is interested in that. And, but, you know, this is a big football club with big ambitions. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's got to be a right appointment. I know this is a, an FA Cup game we've got coming up this weekend, so slightly different, but how concerned do you think everybody is in terms of the situation the players find themselves in. Is, is this a group of players that belong as close as they are to the relegation zone right now? Um, well, the table doesn't lie. Um, and obviously every game that goes by where you don't win, confidence does get sapped. We're all human, you know. We, we work better when we're on it and when we're confident. Um, we second guess ourselves when things are not going well. So I think that's been a little bit of the case and that's been my job and the rest of the staff to, to pick them up um, and maybe the FA Cup gives them a little bit of respite from the in and out of the league and three points but it's you know it's imperative that we get through to the next round as well. Uh, can I ask you 
ask you somebody about somebody who I'm sure you'll know very well and understand that a couple of bids have been um, rejected for Jordan James. Can you understand why there's been so much mm, interest? Absolutely, yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, um, you know, he's, Wayne played him a little bit further forward than he had previously and he, he really looks like that he really took to that and uh, his game's gone up another level and uh, obviously he's now a, a full international as well and, and playing regularly for the, the Welsh national team. Um, so, you know, he's a, he's a player of um, great, great quality uh, and, um, you know, it's, it's no surprise that people are interested in him and, you know, I think it's, it's good for the football club when people want to buy your players. You don't want to lose them, but, you know, the club are doing something right if they're producing the players that people want to buy. And you certainly produce somebody like Jude Bellingham, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. is doing incredibly well, yeah, yeah. to put it yeah. uh, the least that I've said. But, um, yeah, is, is that a sign that, yeah, again, that the academy is doing such a, a great job? Yeah, it's every time there's a young lad that, that makes the headlines and that, it's always good for the academy. It's, it's good for the people who have worked in it. And it's, you know, it's just not the ones at the top end. It's the, the ones who work down with the under nines and under tens because they've been under their, their uh, lead. And uh, they come through and it's good in attracting players and it's good for the football club and it earns the club some money. But no update on, on Jordan as things stand? He's Not to my knowledge, no. Yeah, yeah. Great, thank you. Thank you. thank you. Steve, you mentioned the fact that um, you come in almost with a blank sheet of paper. Yeah. How difficult is that in the short period of time yeah. to get the team very. picked in your way and motivated? Yeah, very difficult. It is because, um, you know, we, we lost the day of the week really because of, of the game being on the Monday. And um, you know you come in Tuesday, and uh, the the group split for obvious reasons. You know you've got a, a team that's played, so you've got a group there, and you've got the other group. Um, so it's 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 hard, but um, you know we've been well prepared as staff. You know we spent a lot of time as staff knowing what we need to work on, um, and then give it to the players today, and there'll be some more tomorrow. But you know the games come around quick again. Um, and uh, if if I'm here or wherever they next week, there's uh, you know a full week to work on next week. You touched on the fact that obviously you know there's a lot of potential here. I mean, if you were selling this to any managers that were possibly coming through the door, what would you say to them about what Birmingham City can achieve? Well, I think it's unlimited at the moment because you know it's a few years since we've been in this position. Uh, so you know, the club have got a few money little bit of money, you know, it's, it's before the budget's been tight. Uh, I think the owners have made it clear what their intentions are. Um, so there's a, there's a good project here, but of course, players want to be associated with winning teams and we've got to try and get the, the team winning again. And um, that will help in terms of recruitment. So the sooner we can get winning games in that, it helps with recruitment. And um, this, you know, this is a, a great football club that has lost its way a little bit over the years. Um, the fan base is, is tremendous, you know, I sit in with them people and they're honest, hardworking people and I think that's all they want to see from their players is honest, hardworking and the Blues fans are, you know, some, some loyal people there and, uh, you know, we want to do it as much for them. I don't want it to sound all cliche in that but uh, because I've, I've been here a few years now, you know, I'm not a, a Birmingham lad myself um, but because I've been at the club and associated with them so long, I really feel a passion for this football club, and it's a club that's you know it's close to my heart. So I want to see them do well. Yeah, I mean they've had some pretty tough times <laughs> in recent years. Yeah. If you could even in one game put a few smiles on faces, would be nice. No, absolutely. I think I'd have the biggest as well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, afternoon spoons. Um, of course, there's going to be plenty of speculation off the field at the moment, but is it sort of your priority to stabilise things on the pitch and just keep the lads in good shape for whatever comes next? Yeah, yeah. It's obviously the, the players read things as well and they'll be looking at some managers and they'll say, oh, I wish he'd come and others they'll think, oh, no, I hope he don't come. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, it's as I've said, I've, I'm up till Saturday and I'll do my best to, to stabilise it with the, the assistance of the other coaches. Uh, and then we, we'll take it from Monday when we, we regroup. Has it been nice to work with um, some of the lads who have come through the academy after you know you will have had such an impression on them during their time in the academy? Yeah, well? yeah, yeah. There was one or two little cheeky smiles on their their faces when they come in. They saw me come in, um, but you know that's what me and the other coaches in the academy had worked for to get them up to the first team, and uh, it's nice to be able to come back and work with them at first team level. And looking uh, at the game against Hull, is it just as much chance as any to get this team back to winning ways? Yeah, because as I said, it's you know it's the next game, um, and we've got to get back to winning ways. The players need it for themselves, the football club need it, and and the fans need it. So you know there's everything to go for on uh, on Saturday. And just finally from here, are there any updates on the lads currently out injured? No, it says we was. Yeah. You got a lot of sympathy for Wayne. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's you know he come off the back of being with John, a, a very successful uh, tenure at the club, and the club were doing well. And um, you know he was brought in by the owners, um, so it was it was hard for Wayne as well. Um, but uh, you know the it's the, the owners have to make their decisions and that. You know, in, in terms of bringing in and in terms of, of sacking and that, and they made their decision, um, and just hope that we can we can get it right with whoever comes in next.